Uh, not as crazy as the November 17th affair in Calgary, but I guess the Lucic hit on Hamannick started a little something if you were looking for the Battle of Alberta yeah. to renew what we saw earlier this year. I was, I'm, I'm glad you went to this, Tim. I mean, that, look, it was a little late, guys looking the other way, and he got hit. Do you agree with everything I just said? Uh, by looking the other way, what do you mean? Just you know, not admiring his past, but looking at his past. Yeah, I don't want to say admiring a he past. He was admiring his past. So, admiring the past, hit a little late, no hit to the head, say la vie, right? NHL Department of Player Safety doesn't make a call, they don't have a hearing, nothing. Mm -hmm. So how is that different than Zach Hyman on Charlie Mack? By the way, I love Peluso coming over here and like just saying like this is the reason I'm here, uh, Milan. Sorry, oh, Zach Cassian was talking to him pregame. We got we got a fight, and wow, this is who would you rather fight, Cassian or Lucic? Yeah, not Lucic. <laughs> yeah, probably not no, Lucic. Not I Lucic. just like that Peluso went over there and said, "Listen, I can't have this happen. I'm on the ice. We got to go." That hit though, I'm fine with. Okay. Right? Nothing wrong with that hit. What was wrong with it? Nothing, right? Some people thought it was a little bit late, but I'm with you. I didn't think it was a little I'm bit late. I'm caring less about what some people think. Okay. Right? I care yeah. what you think. Okay. I don't care what he thinks. Okay. But I care what you think. Which, Seb or Dagan? Pick one. Okay. <laughs> so how is that any different from what Zach Hyman got two games for Saturday night in the third period? Someone explain this one to me. Because I'm genuinely, I have an open mind, contrary to what I just said. I do have an open mind on this. I'll hear the argument. Okay. But we're now walking down a dangerous road with our Department of Player Safety, where it's now, now it's now pulling out of a hat. Hold on, don't walk down the road now. We've walked the road. We're at the end of the street. We're standing there looking for the house, going, where the bleep is the house? For those who want to see the hit, we can show Zach Hyman hitting Charlie McAvoy, and you can be the judge on it. I would suggest to you that there is one thing different about the two hits, and it might have been a split second later, and the fact that McAvoy never saw him coming. So he comes from the blind side to deliver the hit where Hamannick was looking at the area Lucic came from. I, those are the two differences to me. I don't know if either are suspendable. I don't know how much different it is from the other hit in that game or if Morgan Riley feels like maybe Wagner should have got a suspension as well because that was another questionable hit that seemed to be in retaliation, yet nobody talks about that one, at least when it comes to player safety. I, like, to me, all of this stuff... Like, that's high, that's headhunting, that was obvious retaliation. There was a few steps before the coast. Ron Hainsey obviously thought that that one was just as bad. Like, I've, have you heard anything about a, a meeting with no, Wagner not, today? No, there's nothing. There's nothing, nothing going on. The only Chris guy Wagner's that, allowed to run, but Zach Hyman's not allowed to run. The only that, guy that got dinged was Hyman. Right. That's the only guy that got dinged. I think Luchich's was different than Hyman's. Can I say but that? But I, I don't think you can. What yeah. I would say is I don't think either guy anticipated a hit in that moment. No, I know, but you've, if you're a player on the ice, blindside is different than you're looking at the way the guy is coming from. You right. have to be. You know I'm a huge Travis Hammonick guy. Mm -hmm. I'm a big fan of his. As am I. I. I thought that he should have seen that one coming. There was a player in the way, but he's looking this way, and the hit comes from this way. And how way. do you miss 27, right? Where, yeah, whereas. He's, he's like, he's an 18-wheeler in front of you. I understand what McAvoy you're saying. probably should have looked to his right. That's kind of my but point. But never did. He never did, Tim, and there was no head shot, and Hyman didn't leave his feet, and, I, and it, was, it, it was a little bit later than Hamnick, but not much. So now I'm, I'm, I'm wondering what we're doing here, because it wasn't one game. They hit Ham Zach Hyman's going to miss the most important game of the Leafs season, right. which is Tampa on Thursday. Now, you're right. He didn't see him the way the Luchas probably got seen by Hamannick. But what's the standard now? That, that's what I'm afraid of. What is the standard for suspending a guy two games and not even calling him for a hearing? Well, did you listen to the voiceover given by the Department of Players? I actually Safety? didn't. No. no? Okay. I tried to play the video. It wouldn't play. It, it wouldn't play for you? I, no, think, I, I think, blame them. I, I think the blind side has a factor in this. I also think um, no one's talking about the hit on the first shift of the game that Charlie McAvoy delivered on Mitch Marner, yeah. which I found to be um, a part of the equation, if not the reason, oh. why Zach Hyman, and there's another one here from Krejci too, just a little bump, and if you watch it play through, there's a cross check back, did Marner show the numbers? I, I'm not gonna parse all of this, I just know that the Leafs are a little bit timid to hits from behind.